Hello and welcome once again to our video version of Church Today. I'm so glad to be with you. My name is Chaplain Elisa and I will be leading our time together. I know it's an unusual way to do church, but I truly believe that the Spirit binds us together, whether we are physically together or apart. So again, welcome in the name of the Lord. This week is the fourth week of Lent. Lent, the season that leads up to Easter. And Lent is a special time of dependence on God and repentance and humility. So today, our theme for Lent, week four, is prayer. We'll be talking about prayer today. So it's appropriate for us to begin our time together Please join me in prayer. Let's pray. Great and loving God, we ask your Holy Spirit to bless our time together and to refresh us with your presence in the midst of a world full of trouble and strife. We thank you for watching over us, guiding us, and as we confess our sins, for forgiving us. Enable us to enter your presence today joyfully and reverently, and let us depart with the assurance that our sins are forgiven. Fill us, O oh God, with the peace that passes all understanding. We pray in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Let's begin as we typically do by singing the doxology Praise God from whom all blessings flow. We'll sing this through twice together. The words will come up on your screen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Let us affirm our statement of faith by reciting Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, together. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. My prayer is that those words sink deep into your heart today. Let's continue our worship by singing 
When morning gilds the skies, when morning gilds the skies. Let's worship together. Here come the words. When morning gilds the skies, my heart awaking cries, may Jesus Christ be praised, alike at work and prayer, to Jesus I repair, may Jesus Christ be praised. The sadness fill my mind, a solace here I find. May Jesus Christ be praised, or fades my earthly bliss. My comfort still is this. May Jesus Christ be praised. Ye nations of mankind, in this your conquered fight, Christ be praised. Let all the earth around bring joy us with the sound. May Jesus Christ be praised. And let's follow with joyful, joyful, we adore thee. Here come the words on the screen. Scripture reading today on our theme of prayer comes from the book of Psalms. This is Psalm 84. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am godly. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, because to you, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. In the day of my trouble, I call upon you because you answer me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. That's such a great description of prayer. We call on the Lord because he answers us. Let's continue singing, Jesus loves me, this I know. 
Here come the words on the screen. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. And let's sing Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Here come the words. scripture reading today on our theme of prayer is part of the famous Sermon on the Mount that Jesus taught his followers. This is recorded in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 6. Jesus said, when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, because they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your father knows what you need before you ask him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mm. Let's sing, his eye is on the sparrow. God watches out for us. His eye is on the sparrow. Let's worship together.
All right, let's pause our singing for a few moments and think a bit more today about prayer. As always, if you'd like, you can be ready to pause the video with a remote control or touching the screen. I like to build in some extra time for you to think about or talk with someone about some questions that we'll consider, in this case, about prayer. So, first of all, I wonder how you would describe or define prayer. What is prayer? So you can pause the video right here and discuss for a moment. What would you say prayer is? Well, we often think of prayer, and prayer is described in the Bible as calling out to God, talking to God, asking God for what we need, giving thanks to God for what he has provided. Often we forget that a conversation isn't just talking, but also involves listening. So prayer is talking to God, but prayer also includes listening to God, right? So let's think about the sorts of things that we pray for. You can pause the video here if you like to generate a list. What sorts of things do you think we should pray for? Oh, so many things. We pray for God to uh, provide what we need, food, clothing, shelter. We pray for loved ones and for ourselves when we're in trouble, that God would give us guidance. We pray in grief for comfort. We pray again in thanksgiving and joy for who God is and all that he has done for us that, as one of my friends says, he's always there for you, always there for us. So one way to think about prayer is, of course, to look at what we call the Lord's Prayer, or the Our Father, which we say every week in our service. We'll say it later today. So Jesus, when he taught his followers this prayer, he said, this is how you should pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, so how does Jesus identify God? Our Father. So let's think about that. What does that mean that God is our Father? What is a Father like? Well, there's a sense of closeness. There's a sense of family. Your Father is part of your family. What does a Father do? He cares for his children. He provides for his children. He knows us. He's not detached or anonymous. And not just my father, but our father collectively. So it's a very personal way to think about prayer. Jesus said, start out your prayers by realizing that you are speaking to your heavenly father who loves you adores you, wants to hear from you, wants to provide for you. Now, in the Lord's Prayer, what words come after our Father? Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed. Let's think about that word for a minute. What does hallowed mean? The dictionary defines hallowed as to honor, to honor as holy. So when we talk to God our Father and we say, hallowed be thy name, that's like saying, we love you. We love your name, O oh God. We cherish you. You are our Father, not someone else's, our Father, and we love you for that. It's a beautiful way to start our prayer. Now, we could go through the rest of the Lord's Prayer, but as we pray it today, really pay attention. We'll go through it slowly. Give us this day our daily bread, asking God for provision. Forgive us our trespasses. We ask God to forgive what we know is wrong and broken in our lives. And help us to forgive others. And 
Protect us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We often need God's protection from the forces that would hurt us or that would cause us to hurt others. So the Lord's Prayer encourages us daily to depend on God, that we worship and love God as our Father. We ask for God's work to be accomplished here on earth. We ask and depend upon God to provide for our physical needs, our spiritual needs, and we ask God to protect us from things that would pull us away from God. That is such a beautiful teaching of prayer that Jesus says, go to your Father for all these things. So especially because we are in the season of Lent, a time of reflection and dependence on God, let us pray to um, listen for what God would tell us this particular day how God would encourage your spirit today. We'll pray silently for just a moment. Heavenly Father, as we depend on you through prayer, would you speak to us with your still, small voice? Surprise us today, God by speaking to us personally, individually, as we depend on you. And now let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Let's continue singing with Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer. What an appropriate song. Let's worship together. Here come the words on the screen.
and let's sing he's got the whole world in his hands what a beautiful reminder here come the words he's got the a few quotes about prayer. The author Alice Walker said, Thank you is the best prayer that anyone could say. I say that one a lot. Thank you expresses extreme gratitude, humility, and understanding. The artist Joe Murray said, Work is a prayer. And I start off every morning dedicating my work to our Creator. The Indian musician Sonu Nigam said, My prayer is to learn new things, to imbibe fresh insights. You must not take life too seriously. You must enjoy the process of living. And then I love this from National Public Radio commentator Cokie Roberts, who said, As long as algebra is taught in schools, there will be prayer in school. <laughs> Let's sing What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Let's worship together. Here come the words on the screen.
Let's sing Amazing Grace, Amazing Grace. Let's worship together. final reading is a light-hearted story about prayer. A very devout man was once caught in rising floodwaters. The man climbed onto the roof of his house and trusted God to rescue him. A neighbor came by in a canoe and shouted, the waters will soon be above your house. Hop in my canoe and we will paddle to safety. No thanks, replied the man. I've prayed to God and I'm sure he will save me. A short time later, the police came by in a boat. The waters will soon be above your house. Hop in and we will take you to safety, the policeman shouted. No thanks, replied the man. I've prayed to God and I'm sure God will save me. A little time later, a rescue helicopter hovered overhead and a rescuer let down a rope ladder and shouted through a megaphone, the waters will soon be above your house. Climb the ladder and we'll fly you out to safety. No thanks, replied the man. I've prayed to God and I'm sure God will save me. All this time, the floodwaters continued to rise until soon they reached above the man's roof and the devout man drowned. When the man arrived in heaven at the pearly gates, he demanded an audience with God. Ushered into God's throne room, the man said, Lord, why am I here in heaven? I prayed for you to save me from the flood. God replied, I sent you a canoe and a boat and a helicopter. Why didn't you get in? <laughs> oh, we need to be paying attention when God answers our prayers. Let's sing when the saints go marching in. When the saints go marching in. Let's sing this together. Here come the words on the screen. Oh, when 
the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh Lord, I want to be in that number. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when they crown him Lord of all, oh, when they crown him Lord of all, oh Lord, I want to be in that number. Marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, Lord, I want to be in that number when the saints go marching in. Now, please receive the closing blessing, and then we will sing the doxology again together one time to close. Please receive the closing blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's sing the doxology again one time to close. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you again for joining me today. Please know that you are in my prayers, that I know that God is working in you and through you and blessing you, and you bless me by joining me here. God bless you, go in peace, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides. We'll see.